What's up, guys? My name's Miles. And my name is Fez. And this is The Commodity. And today we are talking about how GM and many other uh, manufacturers are going to push to switch from internal combustion engines or ICE, which we're going to use that for the rest of the video, uh, by 2035, some are sooner than that. Um, but we do have a couple announcements to make. Uh, the first one and it's regarding to this video and several videos that are going to be probably coming out in the future. Yeah. Uh, these have nothing to do with political stances. It just so happens that what's going on in the U.S. Uh, politics is rolling over into affecting the automotive industry. 100%. It's pushing manufacturers to switch to electric vehicles because states like California and Massachusetts are going to eventually only allow sales of electric vehicles right so i just want to let you know it has nothing to do with democrats versus republicans it just has to do with cars exactly number two guys and this is huge uh, we have plans to attend sema 2021 in november um, so every like subscription uh every, view everything every, every minute is, watched, is going to definitely help us out it is uh it's going to help us with this journey to make it to SEMA 2021 in Vegas. Uh, and we'd love to take you guys with us. You Absolutely. Know? So everything counts. Everything matters to us. And we definitely appreciate uh, all the views and everything that we've been getting. So if you guys could keep that up and turn the bell notification on, that would be fantastic. Yeah. And so. if you can, please watch it to the end. Yeah. I don't even care if you put it <laughs> off to the side. Watch the full video because those views will help us get monetized. That monetization will then turn... Uh, these videos into revenue which is what's going to help us pay for this trip right so it, it will mean a lot and then the quality of the videos will then in turn to better quality yes we're not pocketing the money we're trying to make better quality entertainment right we enjoy doing this so let's go ahead and jump into this what do you say i say that would be fantastic all right so gm had originally said that they were planning on switching all of their ice engines into electric vehicles by the end of by 2040 right but their i believe ceo came out and actually put a hard fist down saying we're gonna have all them changed over all them all the cars switched over from ice engines to electric by 2035 and this announcement was made uh following sue biden's uh his initiative for the uh buy america yeah. Thing that, so he plans on switching every uh, ICE vehicle under the government to uh, electric only vehicles. Which so. we actually have a video about that. Mm -hmm. Go It'll ahead and be throw it right up there. Up there. Uh, so if you guys want to go back and watch that, that would be fantastic. But yeah, so watch the whole thing. following suit to Biden's uh, plan, that is when they decided to cut back five years and say this is going to happen. So they're not going to be selling. After 2035, they're not going to produce another gas engine, diesel engine, anything. It's all going to be electric. I think that they will wind up keeping like the larger vehicles. Like, I mean, we're talking like F-650s and those kind, or the the larger 3500s and the, yeah, well, yeah. Sorry, I'm going from manufacturer to manufacturer. They're saying that even like their big trucks, they're are going to go everything. full electric. Yeah. So here's the way I'm reading into this they are realizing that had they gone into electric vehicles earlier they would be one of the companies that would have been selected by biden to get these contracts right for these six hundred and fifty thousand vehicles right they're not going to get any of these contracts because they don't have any vehicles to use so i'm sure ford is feeling the same way i'm sure because they're wanting to use only american-made products exactly american manufactured parts and right now there's only a few and they're small companies tiny companies there, yeah and they're specific on these types of box style vehicles mm -hmm. that are made for transporting goods and uh mail and those kind from of things. what i've heard workhorse uh one of the brands has already started uh, working on a van right so f for this i mean they're they're planning on being ahead in in this whole initiative initiative with uh biden's plan so yeah so uh this is either gonna one of the articles i was reading it was basically saying these car manufacturers can either 
transition fast, which 2035 is transitioning pretty fast. Oh yeah, for or every vehicle, yeah. They can be treated like some of these companies that weren't willing, uh, Blockbuster yeah, or uh, Polaroid. They didn't transition with the changing of the times or any of these uh, large publications that went from newspapers to uh, online publications and they exactly. didn't they didn't maneuver properly and they went under yeah so uh gm is starting to see that i mean they were already kind of coming out with things they had the volt the bolt uh they're doing the hummer which mm -hmm. is awesome yeah uh but that's not a very typical style vehicle it's not gonna be good for a lot of stuff no and i was reading that the h the new hummer the the uh, VIN number 001 they're expect they're going to auction it off mm -hmm. and they're expecting to see like a seven figure uh, bid they're expecting it to make over one. seven figures yeah. on the very first one but again it's an amazing vehicle it's 1000 horsepower and 11,500 foot pounds of torque that's insane but that's electric cars we're about mm -hmm. to switch over to a completely different world oh yeah and the next we're talking 14 years we're in 2021 30 2035 is 14 years man i know that's insane um obviously this is going to have some negative impacts on other industries uh the oil industry and things like that uh small companies uh, quick lube companies and right. and because you're not going to need to go change your oil and maintenance and is going to be very little uh a lot of the a lot of these electric cars don't have multiple gears, so it will actually even impact, uh, to a certain extent, metal companies. And oh, even the, the actual car manufacturer, it takes less people to build an electric vehicle than it does uh, right. an ICE vehicle. So there are going to be a lot of changes taking place in, in this. But Again, this is a revolution that's happening in the world. We're going, f uh, even GM was talking about transitioning their uh, plants from uh, fossil fuel power to clean energy. Mm -hmm. So that's other, you know, it, it's a trickle down effect. People are going to get affected. Oh, yeah. But if they allow themselves just to sit there and cry about it and d not be able to deal with it, yeah, they're going to get left behind. Yeah, I mean, it's even like we had mentioned in one of our uh, previous videos, Dodge talking about uh, moving with the, the new era of muscle cars right they're going to be switching all of their muscle cars to ev and that's going to be insane I, i'm excited to see a an electric challenger an electric charger that would be super cool right and one of the other things they were talking about which this is another area where it actually helps out one of the companies that they're working with for the batteries um they plan on actually getting the batteries way cheaper mm -hmm. but that also works with just producing multiple multiple vehicles over and over again yeah uh quantity you're well, gonna trial and error yeah you know but uh, i believe they said that they're pay paying somewhere around a hundred and eighty dollars or something yeah, like that 175 per, 180 per kilowatt hour kilowatt hour and they're planning on dropping it down to a hundred dollars uh probably about the time that they're producing and then soon after 75 75 dollars per mm -hmm. kilowatt hour so that's going to make a huge difference um so just hold on tight if you're not into electric cars you will be <laughs> sorry i don't know why you need to go find a friend that has a tesla sit down in it and try it out or you're just going to be left in the dust because all these cars are going to be able to roast your v8 i don't have a friend with a tesla i don't either actually <laughs> I plan on being your friend with the Tesla. Let yeah. me rephrase that. We will have a Tesla. And then one other thing that I just want to mention is very small. It was in the article is that Tesla was valued more than Ford, GM. Oh, stand up. Like five <laughs> different manufacturers. Uh, Toyota was one of those, mm -hmm. which is the second most valuable comp uh, auto manufacturer in the world. Yeah. And it is worth more than those five companies combined and kind of like gamestop yeah gamestop is the most valuable company in the world right now i wouldn't say that much <laughs> but it is i mean you could either have already been moving towards it and be valued like tesla or you're being left behind and you're going to be valued like i don't know until reddit hits you oldsmobile 
Saturn. So with that being said, my name is Miles. And my name is Fez. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace out. That was stupid, but whatever. <laughs>